So I just wanted to update you guys with what's going on with our black mold situation in our home because I know that a lot of you guys were worried about us and this little guy actually got bronchial pneumonia. Did you get a new toy? Did Bubba get a new toy? So I got Jackson this new jumper roo because he loves the activity center, but I feel like he needed a little bit more variety, especially since I got rid of his swing. He no longer needs a swing. He started sitting up in his swing, so he completely outgrew that. So I wanted to basically replace his rockaroo swing with a jumper roo. So now he has both of these to go back and forth in as well as a play gym. And then he's got toys in his room, of course. So this just gives him a little something extra to do, but he does not know how to jump in it. We're still working on learning how to jump, but he's going to get it one day. And I can't wait to share with y'all the update of when he starts jumping in this thing. I'm so excited for him to have this. And these are both from Amazon. This is the Like a Boss Activity Center. And then this one is the Jumperoo. I'll link them both below in case you guys have little ones that you want to get one for. But I highly recommend both of these. So I do have some mold updates to share with y'all. I told y'all that I had some mold issues going on in this bathroom. They were originally supposed to come in here. They were supposed to rip out this ceiling and replace it with a new ceiling because it keeps molding and they just keep painting it with kilts. As you can see, it still has a dark spot where it has just been covered up, covered up, and covered up. They've taken this vent off right here and sprayed bleach up there. So for everyone who was asking if they were gonna be fixing that, this is what it's looking like now. And I'll also insert a before clip right here. And for our light switch cover here, it's like bowing out from just so much moisture in this bathroom. We actually ran a dehumidifier in here and it pulled out so much moisture. We were dumping it like every few hours. It was insane. So behind my light switch cover right here, there's black mold. There's black mold inside of it. And as you can see, like on the screw. So I'm gonna unscrew these. I'm gonna soak this cover in like bleach or something. I'm gonna take a rag with some cleaner on it and I'm gonna kill this mold with some bleach or something. We are gonna get rid of this mold. I gotta do things myself here. So I'm gonna be doing that. So the kids bathroom is basically completely empty. We just put the shower curtain back in here yesterday from where they were supposed to come in here, completely rip out the ceiling and replace that. So we took everything out of this bathroom but all they ended up doing was painting. Um, so I have a pineapple mirror, my towel, all the decor on this shelf, as well as a wreath up here. The stuff that goes on the sink, I just brought their toothbrushes back in here because they had to brush their teeth last night and then just some baby wipes on the back of the toilet. So I need to go ahead and get everything put back in this bathroom and get it all deep cleaned. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm honestly just gonna be getting my home back in order. And each time the black mold starts coming through the ceiling, they just repaint it with some kilts. So I just wanted to update you guys with what's going on with our black mold situation in our home because I know that a lot of you guys were worried about us and this little guy actually got bronchial pneumonia and an ear infection. Nolan also got an ear infection and those can be symptoms and causes of black mold. So obviously if there's black mold in my house and no one else is going to do anything about it, then I'm going to take it upon myself to do what I can about it especially with my children in this home. So the first step I'm taking is cleaning the light switch cover. They have painted the ceiling with kilts again. That does not kill the mold that is behind the wall, that is behind the ceiling, that is in our walls and in the ceiling, but it does cover it up on the outside. So today I'm gonna be deep cleaning my kids' bathroom. I'm gonna take everything out from underneath their sink. So basically they were supposed to replace, are you saying hi? You wanna say hi? So basically they were supposed to come in. <laughs> and rip out the ceiling and they said there was going to be insulation everywhere so i couldn't be at home obviously with the, 
<laughs> Obviously with the kids and insulation uh. everywhere. I left to go to my mother-in-law's, but she lives about an hour from here. So I drove about an hour away thinking I was gonna have to be gone all day. They told me to make arrangements for the whole day to be gone. So we took my computer out of here. We covered the TV with a sheet. We flipped back my living room rug to make them a path to come in and out. We thought that it was just gonna be a big mess and insulation everywhere. So we took everything out of the bathroom. I mean, we spent a good while prepping, but they ended up just coming and painting over it. And uh, the light switch cover was not replaced or anything. So I'm just taking care of that today and deep cleaning the bathroom. And then once I'm done cleaning in there, I'm gonna put all of our decorations back in there. All of the wash rags that were was in there and the hand towels that was in there, the towel, anything that was in there, I'm gonna be washing it before I put it back in there because there was mold spores floating around. I do have air purifiers and that does help with cleaning the air. I'm doing what I can on my part with keeping our home mold free because I do not want that making us sick, obviously. But like I said, that still doesn't hide the fact that there is mold behind the ceiling and in the walls. I assume the mold can only come out. Uh-uh, Nolan, get out of there. So since I have the outlet cover off that bathroom, Nolan has to go use my bathroom if he's gotta go potty and he's not gonna be going in there until I'm completely done in there until the light switch cover is put back on. Arabella is actually spending her first night away from me. She's spending the night with my mother-in-law last night and I was so emotional about it because she's never been away from me. She's never spent the night away from me. This was her very first... This was her very first time spending the night away from me. I think she did really well. She didn't have her duck. If y'all are long time followers, long time subscribers, y'all probably know who duck is. It's her favorite stuffed animal that she cannot sleep without. He's getting ready for his nap. A lot of times I'll go ahead and change him, get him dressed in the mornings if his diaper leaked or he spit up or got slobber all over himself or anything. <laughs> Last night he didn't leak or he doesn't have anything on him. Other than just now, he spit up just a tiny bit. But usually I won't change him until like after his first nap if his pajamas are still good. So I'm going to go ahead and change him to something else comfortable. Probably just a onesie. Let him lay down for his nap and then we're going to tackle the bathroom. When the old one's gone under the night And I can feel the sun on my skin and just kind of rinsed it off, but it's gonna need some heavy duty scrubbing. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this light switch cover with my Lysol Mold and Mildew Foamer with bleach. And I'm gonna let this soak on here for about 20 minutes before I scrub it off. Once that sits for about 20 minutes, then I'm gonna let it soak in the sink with hot water and bleach. Excuses were two for a penny. But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a Y'all, if it's not one mess, it's another. So while I'm letting my light switch cover soak in the sink, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the dining room. And I also have a really pretty floral arrangement that I'm gonna be sitting out on my table and I'm excited to share it with y'all because I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love how realistic and detailed these roses are. And I am definitely gonna be ordering my fall florals from their website this year. Their website is called Artificial Merch. They are an artificial flower store that has all kinds of flowers to choose from. They have really great deals on their website. I love the prices and they have a large selection. They also have a 90 day satisfaction guarantee policy. So if you're unhappy with your purchase, then you can return them. They offer artificial flowers, plants, trees, greenery and branches, accessories, dried flowers, for home decoration, birthday parties, weddings, any occasion, any season. And y'all, I'm picky about what kind of flowers I put in my house. So I'm so glad that I found this website. I love how realistic their florals look. These look so real. I mean, obviously they're fake, but they are so detailed and I absolutely love it. 
I ordered this really good quality porcelain vase off of Amazon. It's actually very good quality. I will link it below for y'all. It was honestly really affordable as well. And I believe they had different heights, but I love how simple it looks. I'm also going to be lighting my summer boardwalk candle. It honestly smells like a vanilla cupcake to me, but it says it's supposed to be a summer scent. Eric walked in the door and said it smelled like fall in here. He thought I lit a fall candle, but it legit smells like vanilla. But I'm going to link artificial merch down below in my description box so that you guys can check out their floral arrangements. You can check out all of their flowers and everything that they have. And definitely don't forget to check out flowers for the fall time coming up because I'm definitely going to be checking out their fall florals. already recorded what I'm about to say but I deleted it and decided to re-record it because the camera was down lower and you could see just like right here in this cleaning bottle while I was talking and I could just hear in my head my mom going I can't see your beautiful face I want to see your beautiful face so I lifted the camera up so that when my mom watches this she can see my beautiful face I just heard her in my head saying Marie I want to see your beautiful face so I deleted that redoing it so the lysol mold and mildew foamer is supposed to sit on surfaces for 15 to 30 seconds before i clean it off but i usually let it sit for like two minutes so i'm going to be spraying this on my sink and in the bathtub i'm going to be deep cleaning this toilet i'm going to be cleaning the mirror the floor i'm even going to be wiping down the walls and the door because i really want to get all these mold spores out of this bathroom there has been mold floating around in here we also ran a dehumidifier in here for several days and just kept dumping it and dumping it and it feels really dry in here now it doesn't feel like moist anymore so we really needed to run that dehumidifier i'm also going to be cleaning out underneath the kids sink we're going to take everything out of there wipe it down really good clean it really well and put everything back in there all of their washcloths that i keep under there i am going to be rewashing those before i stick them back under there we even took the bathroom shelf off the wall just to make sure that everything was out of here because they were supposed to be replacing our ceiling so everything came out of this bathroom so i am ready to get it back in order and get it clean for my babies even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different tub up just a little bit with some hot water and some bleach and I let all their toys soak and if any of these like suction toys get any water inside of them and they start just getting nasty I just discard those we throw those out but this is basically how I clean all their toys and I highly recommend this toy organizer I keep their shampoos their soaps everything in that and the toys and it fits adjustable to almost any size bathtub so I love that it fits right here in the end of the tub so that it's not in the way whenever Adeline takes a shower but it's also very useful to store our shampoos our soaps and everything that the kids use in this bathroom I don't know if you can tell but I am already so tired and I'm not even halfway done so the easiest way that I have found to clean my toilet is to just use some disinfectant wipes so I use these Clorox disinfectant wipes to wipe the toilet down and then for more of a deep clean I add in the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner and I let that sit for a little bit while I'm wiping the toilet down once I'm done with that then I will use my toilet wand to clean it I use my toilet wand just to clean it regularly if you don't have a toilet wand cleaner I highly recommend getting one of these I love these for just like basic cleaning everyday cleaning all of your adventures 
So for the base of my toilets, I always use a used fabric softener sheet because if you try to wipe it down with a wet rag, all that dust is just going to just make a big mess and smear everywhere. So first I go over it with used fabric softener sheets and this just gets all the dust off and then after I get all the dust off, then I'll go back over it with my Clorox wipe. So I do not use cleaning gloves because I do keep my bathrooms cleaned pretty regularly and whenever we first move into a home, I will wear cleaning gloves then just because there was other people living there so clearly I want to protect myself from germs. But in our own home, I am really good with keeping our bathrooms clean and our toilets cleaned regularly and I don't feel the need to have to wear gloves. Which in this case scenario, I probably should protect my nails but I need to get them done again anyway so I'm not too worried about it. So after I've cleaned all of their toys with bleach, I run them under hot water on the faucet before putting them back in this tray. And once they're in the tray, I also go back over them with some more hot water in the rinse cup. And I love this tray because it has so many little holes in the bottom of it so that I can just pour hot water on it and it'll rinse them all off. This bathtub is obviously not the most aesthetically pleasing bathtub, but it is squeaky clean. I wiped down the trim. We don't have baseboards. We have trim in this trailer. I wiped all that down. We wiped the walls down. This wall is bowing in from water damage and moisture behind the wall. There's probably mold behind this wall. Use the dishes in the other side of my sink. I'm a mama for dishes in it. As soon as I'm done doing the dishes, there's more dishes. So I am so impressed with how clean this light switch cover came. It was filthy. So underneath the kids' bathroom sink is where I like to keep all of their extras. They have extra shampoos, extra toothpaste, extra toothbrushes, their hairbrushes, they're off, the mosquito spray, anything that I can store under here and I try to keep it as organized as possible. So underneath the kids sink looks a million times cleaner and it probably looks different in person but I can definitely tell a difference. It was dirty in here, there was mold and mildew in here. Also the bottom of the sink is actually water damaged so I think this might be just like mold or just I'm not really sure what that is but I know that it's clean because I'll scrub the crap out of it with bleach. So it smells really good in here, it smells really clean. I'm going to leave the cabinet doors open to let it air out and then we're going to put everything back in here. And I usually have another container that sits right here and this is where I put all the kids rags. So I'm washing literally all their rags right now. So once those are all clean, I'll get those put back in here. So I'm actually gonna be using my Robo Rock to vacuum and mop at the same time. I absolutely love this thing. Perfect for crazy busy mamas. It vacuums and mops at the same time instead of taking the time to do both. So I'm going to be using my Robo Rock. The Robo Rock actually has a specific cleaner to put inside of it, but I honestly just put hot water and a splash of lemon scented pine saw and it works perfectly for me. I'm going to also be replacing all of the kids toothbrushes. I have these two for Bella and Nolan. I also have a Target drive up order that I'm about to go pick up for a new toothbrush for Adeline. So we're going to go ahead and toss these and put out new ones. So I recently got this super cute pineapple mirror. I shared this in one of my last videos. I love this mirror. It is so cute. It's a ratten mirror, but it's such a cute decoration to go over the hand towel rack right here. And I actually have three hand towels that look so cute in this bathroom. So I love that I'm able to change them all out and always have a clean hand towel in this bathroom. And last but not least, I'm gonna get my wreath hung back up over this shelf, all my decorations put back on it, as well as the little cute glass jars that I have on here to store all the kids' cloths and their hair ties and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this shelf put back together. So I just got the rugs put back in here. This one says squeaky clean and then the one over here is a rainbow and I have it as far over as I can and then I store their step stool over here for brushing their teeth and washing their hands. So whenever I give my baby a bath and my little ones a bath, I do slide this rug over the vent just while they're taking a bath because it's freezing cold whenever they get out and the vent is blowing directly up on them. So I just slide the rug over the vent while they're bathing and then I slide it back over. So this rug is super useful. So last but not least, I am gonna be taking a damp rag and very carefully cleaning this black mold with bleach. And then once I have that all cleaned, I'm gonna let it air dry. I'm gonna have this fan going for about an hour. Then I'm gonna head back in here and put the outlet cover on and we will be done with this bathroom today. And 
and my bathroom is squeaky clean again the mold is gone there's absolutely no mold spores in this bathroom anymore I'm gonna try to keep it clean we're also gonna be running the dehumidifier in here as needed so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I really hope that you found it motivational and I'll see y'all in my next one